What's up, y'all? It's Marlon, man, and I'm back again with another one. I told y'all, man. That's how. I, that's I'm, I'm with it, bro. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, man. But look, though, look. I told y'all that the Sean Porter versus David Benavidez sparring session was pointless, bro. The shit was pointless, bro. It was the shit was for clout, and this is proof. Pay attention. It's a great day for us because we're going to spar the main event, Sean Porter. They called and they said they want to spar David. I said, yeah, I always look for the number ones. I always look for the, the monsters. We have always tried to work with the top. Okay, did it. Guys. Yeah, yeah. So it was a <laughs> to look for someone even better this fight. Take that. David was Take the best that. Guy. He was right there because he's on the uh, co-main event with us. Fred was flaming his ass the other day. That shit was hilarious. Look at that. Come on, man. He ain't orthodox, bro. What the fuck is you doing? No one expects us to get in the ring with someone this big, this skill, this kind of experience. Everything is new, and my dad calls that shocking body. David created a lot of problems with his skill, his speed, Look at his that. Size, Look at that. Yeah, that's how Earl gonna hit him. Person, he has a very unique talent. The type of fighter he is, a more of a pressure fighter. I've been the pressure fighter the whole my whole training. Look at that. No accuracy. Good change, you know, to box round moves. Look at that. Getting pieced up. I mean, it's a slightly unorthodox approach by teams, but you don't like it. No? Why? Why? I mean, he mentioned, yeah, we saw that he was tough. He was able to get in. Yes, we he's mentioning everything that everything that we know already about Porter. But why against a right handed? Why oh my against God. a guy that's twice as big as him? It's not unusual to spar a big as a guy. I, I got to agree. I got to agree. Now listen, the Porters do things unorthodox. Kenny does it. Sean does it. It is what it is. But to put yourself in with a top competitor like Benavides, he risk injury. And on top of that, Fact, saying, bro. it's an orthodox fighter. It's not a softball. You're fighting a softball on pay per view. Why risk that? Fair enough. Uh oh. Facts, bro. This shit was pointless, bro. He could have gave you a major headache, bro. A motherfucking damn near concussion before the biggest fight of your life. And he orthodox. And you got a bunch of media around exposing shit. Come on, man. That was stupid. That was stupid. And I bet you Kenny set it up. K. Diddy set that stupid shit up. That was stupid. I got... Man, they hit it right on the head. They said the same shit I said some videos ago, probably yesterday or the day before. I said the difference, my video was titled, The Difference Between Earl Spence uh, Sparring Sessions. Um, the Difference Between Earl Spence Sparring Sessions and, and Sean Porter Sparring Session. I just got a notification that uh, Jose Ramirez, Ramirez had surgery on his hand in mid-August playing 2020 ring. 2020 return to ring. He out for the year. Jose Ramirez. But fuck all that. It's ain't about that. I got to rewind it, bro. Because they just took the words out of my mouth, bro. This shit was stupid, bro. No, like, why the fuck was stupid? Do it the same thing with the Demetrius Andrade shit. Come on, man. Unnecessary. I gotta, I gotta replay what they were saying, bro. I mean, it's a slightly unorthodox approach. Like, that seems better. You don't like it. I don't. No? Why? <laughs> Why? I mean, he mentioned, yeah, we saw that he was tough. He was able to get in. Yes, we. He's mentioning everything, that, everything that we know already about Porter. But why against a right handed? Why against a guy that's twice as big as him? It's not unusual to spar a big as him. I gotta agree. I gotta agree. Hey, listen, the Porters do things unorthodox. Kenny does it. Sean does it. It is what it is. But to put yourself in with a top competitor like Benavides, you risk injury. And on top of that, like you're saying, it's an orthodox fighter. It's not a softball. You're fighting a softball on pay per view. Why risk that? Fair enough. Uh -oh. Facts, bro. That was dumb as fuck. But that's that, y'all. I'm out. Peace. <laughs>